Hi there, it's Molly from Barn Sewing Center bringing you your new foot of the month video. This month we will be going through the Juki double fold bias binder for your TL18 or possibly the TL2010, the 2200 mini. There's several different machines that will be compatible for, with this attachment. So let's jump right in and get started. Alrighty, so I am at my Juki straight stitch machine. This is the TL18 QVP. And we are gonna go ahead and unbox our double fold bias binder. So when you take it out, we've got lots of little pieces parts. Alrighty, so in this little baggie, we have our new presser foot for the double fold bias binder. So this presser foot will have a singular needle hole there, and it's also got kind of a narrow toe, so that way we can see and make sure we stay right along the edge of our binding. And we've got the attachment. So this is a pretty big attachment. Now what we can do is right out of the box, it's already preset at several different places correctly for the straight stitch machine. So if you're using um, possibly thicker objects or um, thicker quilted items, or if you need to adjust, you have several places where you are able to. And then this piece will also swing away, so that way we can easily feed our binding strips through. So I'm gonna go ahead and attach this to my machine using my wide screw hole there. Alrighty, so I've gone ahead and attached our bias binder, and then I have also pre-cut some strips. So in the instructions for the bias binder, it will tell you exactly how wide to measure and cut these strips. And I've also got my quilted project right off to the side. So this is ready for some binding and that's what we're about to do. So to start, we are gonna find our, one of the ends of our binding strip, and I am just going to cut a point, just a little point so that way I can feed it through just like that. So once I have that point, I'm going to feed my strip through my attachment, right through the funnel here. So my good side of the fabric is going to be facing away from me, and I am going to feed this right in, and then this is also a good time to use just a pokey tool tweezers or a screwdriver so that way you can slide it through. And you can see it starts to come out the other end of our funnel here. I'm just gonna help it along all the way through, just like that. So there we've see, we see that our binding has started and it started to roll our fabric so then I'm gonna push this right back up against our 
press our foot there. And then I'm going to get my quilted object. And I am going to feed, starting towards the middle here, right in between where the binding is folded, where it's folded. So I'm going to have some on the top and on the bottom. And it's gonna stitch through both layers at once. So as I am sewing, I'm gonna keep an eye on this tail here to make sure that it doesn't start to twist or fold. Um, well, fold in a way that I wouldn't want. And then once we have set our object, we can go ahead and stitch that out. So with this attachment, you can see it is stitching really nice and close and catching the back all at the same time. How cool is that? So we can also do corners. Now we cannot do a mitered corner with this attachment, but we can do rounded corners. So as I go around, I'm just going to ease my quilt and keep stitching. And there we have our perfectly bound edge and caught on both sides. How simple. Alrighty, so after your attachment has been set, we are going to screw on our binding presser foot. So I'm gonna go ahead and swing that out and I can remove my standard presser foot and attach the binding presser foot. There we go. So this was the double fold bias binder attachment for any Juki straight stitch machine. So today I was using the TL18 once again, but this is a really, really neat attachment that can save a ton of time when it comes to your quilted projects. So thank you so much for watching today and join us next month for a new foot of the month. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.